Hello everyone and welcome back to part 12 on how to create the Among Us type game on Roblox. Before we start, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers. I really appreciate that. Uh, so let's start. And also, I forgot to mention that I'm doing a 1000 Robux giveaway. So make sure to subscribe. When I reach uh, 1000 subscribers, I will choose a random winner and give him 1000 Robux. So make sure to subscribe. Okay, so let's make some tasks. Let's firstly add a part to the workspace. Let's add a part. Let's put it here. Let's actually put it inside of, of uh, a folder. Oh, we don't need to do that. Just make sure that the part is anchored and uh, that can collide is set to true. And uh, make sure that the uh, that you rename the part to let's rename it for example download da data download data since it's going to be a download data function uh, a download data task let's put it here and uh, let's drag it inside of the map and let's create a folder inside of the map let's create a folder and rename it to uh, tasks and drag the download data inside of the tasks folder. And inside of the download data part, we will add a script. Okay, so let's uh, create a touched event. So script.parent.touched connect function hit. And we will create a variable for the humanoid. So local humanoid is equal to hit.parent on find first child humanoid humanoid let me zoom out a bit and we will check if a humanoid if a humanoid then let me just remove that dollar sign if humanoid then uh, so if there is a humanoid then we will create a variable for the player. So local player is equal to game dot players dot players on get player for get player from character get player from character hit dot parent. And inside of here, we will check if the player is still there. If the if the player didn't leave the game, the player then we will uh, uh, just let this. Uh, so this empty for now and go uh, inside of player starter gy and add a screen gy and rename the screen gy to tasks and inside of the screen gy we will add a uh frame let's drag it here let's resize it go to plugins unit conversion scale i will leave a link to this plugin in the description it's a really helpful plugin it converts your ui to scale automatically so you don't have to do it manually so it fits on all devices so yeah okay so make rename the frame to download data and inside of that frame i'm gonna add uh, i'm gonna customize it a bit let's add a ui corner to make it look better the y corner and let's make the corner radius uh to zero comma ten and uh let's make the background transparency of the download data frame background color not background transparency to us i'm just gonna make it gray this looks very good color and uh, add a uh, text uh, button to it which I will go to plugins, unit conversion scale to convert it automatically to scale. And let's just put it here. And inside of it, I'm going to add a, I'm going to just drag this, the text semi y corner, corner that's inside of the download data frame. I'm just going to duplicate it by pressing control D, control D, and drag it inside of the text button. And I'm just going to rename the text button to exit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the background color 3 to red, a nice little red, and the text 
color to white and the text scaled true and uh, text to a capital x and text stroke transparency to zero and the font to source sense bold i mean you can change your font uh, however you want but i'm just gonna make it source sense bold okay so now we are done with this button we will just duplicate it and drag it here and resize it resize it and let's drag it in the middle in the bottom middle of the frame and i'm just gonna set the text text to download data download not download data download and i'm gonna set the name of it to uh and also if you're wondering how i rename it i just uh, double click on it uh i just double click on the name oh i just click on it not double click i just realized that okay uh let's change the name to download and i'm just gonna make the background color to to a nice little blue color blue i think This blue looks pretty nice. I'm going to add a text label to the download data frame, and I'm just going to. I'm not going to rename it. I'm just going to set the text to um, my tablet, just like a manga. My text scale to true and text color to white. And drag this. Okay, this y corner again so right click duplicate or press ctrl g and drag it inside of the text table and make the background color to blue and set the font to whatever you like i'm just gonna set it to source sense bold and the border size pixel to zero uh, uh text strokes transparency to zero and I'm going to duplicate it and drag it here and select the, both of the text labels and center them. And set the text of the second one. Set the text of this second one to uh, database, I think. That's, uh, I think that's what uh, it's called in Among Us. I'm not sure, but I'm just going to set it to database. And now we will add a frame to the download data frame again. And just uh, select it, put it. Oh, actually. Oh, I uh, select um, you, all of your. Uh, select your frame and your, both of your text labels. And go to plugins and a conversion and scale, and that should be it. Okay, so now our uh, UIs are converted to scale. All we gotta do now is to make a background. Uh, so we rename this frame to background, background. Let me make it a little big. And set the border uh, size pixel to zero. And this looks pretty good in my opinion. And duplicate it and drag it inside of the background frame and rename it to main. And let's just set the background color three to two. Let's make it two. Yeah, blue looks pretty nice. Let's just to resize this. Like that. Just resize your uh, thing until it looks uh, good. For me, this looks pretty good. Select your main uh, frame and set and in the properties in the properties panel we will uh, scroll down 
and so we'll see this uh, size thing and just uh, copy it so uh, control c to copy wait is it uh yeah it's already scaled control we copy the size and all you gotta do now is add a local script to the download button so add a local script to it and we will create a um a uh first event so script dot parent the mouse button one click on connect function we don't need any argument and we will uh, write script dot parent dot background uh, script dot parent dot parent dot background dot uh, uh main colon twin position twin size udim2 udim2 not udim udim2 dot new with some parentheses and uh, paste in the size that you just copied and delete these brackets and that should be it so copy this uh, oh we don't need to copy this line just put a wait three seconds or just two seconds i think oh so, let's just uh wait three seconds and uh script dot parent dot parent dot visible is set to false so we'll make the thing invisible all you gotta do now is add a script to the exit uh, button a local script and we will just do the same thing script dot parent dot mouse button one click on connect function we don't need any argument again and we will just make script script dot parent dot parent script dot parent parent dot visible is equal to false and uh, that should be it yeah just make the uh download data frame invisible for now so make sure that visible is set to false and uh, enter our script that's inside of this uh, download uh, data thing and if player then player dot player dot player gy dot um tasks tasks dot uh we name it tasks yeah we did tasks dot download data dot visible is equal to true let's see if that works <coughs> should be working let's view the output we don't have any errors that's just from a plugin let's touch this and let's press this download button oh uh sorry uh i forgot to do something something so just make this frame visible and uh, scale this thing down to zero just let it like this don't change anything okay so make this invisible again and that should be working let's see if it works Let's touch this and let's press this button. And as you can see, it's downloaded and it's now invisible. And if we touch it again, it won't work because it's already done. Okay, so this is going, this is not going to be a tutorial actually. Let's just add some more things. I mean, you can get really creative. Uh, you can be creative with uh, these tasks. I just gave you an example. Of course, we will make more. But, uh, uh, I mean, I can't make all of the tasks in Among Us. I'm going to try my best to make um, a lot. A lot of tasks. Uh, for example, we want to make a. Let me show you. 
let's say you want to make let's make another task actually let's make another task just duplicate this uh, and just duplicate it and drag it here and make it red and i'm just gonna rename it to press the button and inside of here we will change this to press the button and add duplicate this frame this download data frame and rename it to press the button and make it visible so you can edit yours and just delete these text labels i think i'm gonna keep uh, one text label and this uh i'm just gonna put it here let's just say text to press press uh, actually let's just change this to zero percent and the inside of this download button i'm gonna create a I'm gonna delete whatever is inside of it and I'm just gonna set script dot parent dot text label script dot parent dot parent dot text label dot uh text is equal to one hundred percent. I mean uh, this is not really a task uh, that you would use in a game but uh I mean, this is just an example of how you will make more tasks. And as I said, I will make more tasks in future episodes and fix all of the bugs in the game. But uh, you can make uh, yours if you want. Let me just uh, set uh, the visible property to false. And make sure that this is not visible let's make sure that we wrote this right and uh, this should give you an idea of uh, how you would make uh, more tasks let's firstly use the first task it's working as you can see it's working let's use the other one and now it's working so this uh this is going to be it for today's tutorial if this helped make sure to subscribe and uh, like the video share it with your friends and i will see you in the next one bye